Well, Simon, it wasn't to be tonight. What did you make of it? Uh, spells we did all right. I think their keepers made two or three good saves from us. Um, but I think it's, it sounds like a broken record at times that I can't fault the players, the work rate that they're putting and their attitude has been good. But it's just the quality sometimes where when we're under no pressure, we give it away too cheaply. We make the wrong decisions. And if you give the ball away to good championship players, they're going to punish you. And tonight, um, we didn't really get punished too much. And we were downfall of our own, the goals we conceded. But we've got to do better with the ball. Too, much, too many times we give it away too easily, too cheaply. Not enough of care, enough, enough pride in it. And, it. and once we start giving it away, it gives the opportunity to, to the opposition to, uh, to hurt us if possible, sometimes. Unfortunately for Armand, at 1-0, you're, you're trying to get up the field to, to trouble them with an equaliser. He's given the ball away and they've scored from it. Yeah, look, and just after half-time, we, we had a good opportunity. Went headed back across and Matty Virtue heads it in. The keeper makes a good save and then fine margins, really. First half, Mark Howard hasn't had too many saves to make. We, we've done all right. But again, it's just talking about we've got to, have to pay more attention to, to retention of the ball. It's not tactics, it's not... Um, systems or anything like that it's a bit of having a pride and a care in, in keeping hold of that ball make sure that it goes from a tangerine shirt to another one and that gives you a better opportunity of having sustained pressure we every time we get the ball we, we're trying to score as quickly as possible well that doesn't happen not even the best teams in the world score within two or three passes you've got to break quickly sometimes but then put the brakes on have a proper decision and then you might have to go back out the other side and and when we've passed the ball and made better decisions, we, we, we looked a better team than, than when we don't. And it's getting doing the basics. And again, that's not down to tactics or systems. It's all down to sort of the personnel making that are on the pitch at the time. All he wants to get around the pitch is mobile, he's athletic, and he's not played first team football for, for a long time now. And he showed glimpses tonight of, of what the reason why we bought him. And, and he's, he's going to be the first of probably quite a few players that we're going to be getting in before this window shuts. Have you got some big calls now for the weekend in terms of selecting your team? You've got Thornley here now, you've got Grant Ward, you've got Mark Bowler back, you've got some real options this weekend, haven't you? Well, more times than not, you don't bring players in uh, not to play them. So we've just lost a few games. This team tonight was the same team that 10 of the 11 was the team that was playing last year in League One as well. So we, we felt of a number of weeks, even since August time, we've known that we need to have a little bit more quality, strength in depth, which we do, which we've talked about on many occasions. And and I even said the other day, I think we're going to be one of the busiest teams um, in our division, if not a few other divisions, um, by the window shutting in, whatever it is, two, three weeks, two weeks or so.